Well, hello, my cartoon friends. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today. Dave McDonald here. Glad to be here with you for another edition of Quarren Tunes, drawing together while we're kind of stuck inside. Although we're getting out a little bit more now, but this helps pass the time while we're in between our distance learning and our all of our studies. So I hope you're having fun uh, drawing along with me, learning some things along the way. Let's start by showing yesterday's drawing that I colored. Again, you're finding out that I'm enjoying coloring my drawings once I'm finished with them. <clears throat> and yesterday we visited the great state of Texas and we discovered my sound effects department. Dun, da, da, dun. <laughs> or should I say, <laughs> the sound effects department was Texas State Mammal, the Longhorn Steer, with the Texas State Bird, the Mockingbird, making all the different sounds. Huh? How about that? Corny Creek Farms Sound Effects Department. They blow through the little horns just like a flute or a clarinet, and all those sounds come out. Now today, if we were making a sound about what we're going to be drawing, Let's see, I don't have a whistle for this one, but let's see if we can find out what the sound of this animal is going to be today. <laughs> if that sounded like an elephant, you're right! <laughs> if it sounded like something else, you're wrong! <laughs> today we're going to draw an elephant, and it stems from our conversation about two days ago when we were drawing our toucan. Remember the, the Brazilian, my Brazilian friends? Uh, we talked about Brazil and the Amazon rainforest. We drew a toucan and a jumping spider. But I got to thinking about my friend Lavinia, who was a student where I taught and she told me about how she learned to ride an elephant. And we talked at length about her and I joked about her riding an elephant. I said, you know you didn't ride an elephant. And she said, sure I did. <laughs> so I thought we'd draw an elephant today together. All right, so our elephant is going to start with the head and that's gonna be an oval shape. So oval shape right about here. Did you notice how I got my pencil in motion before I started putting it down on the paper? And then I kind of zeroed in on that shape that I was happy with. The body of the elephant is going to be based on an oval shape this way. There we go. All right. And there's a lot of ovals there, but we'll zero in on the one that we need. The ear is going to be kind of an oval shape here. We'll see one ear there. And let's see the trunk of the character is gonna come up like this. Come down off the front of the head and make, it'll be maybe a baby elephant, just a tiny little trunk. Small oval at the end. Bring it back towards the head. Make a smile. See how we're kind of using these shapes. See how I'm doing that around and this would be, let's see, the ear would be like this. And the other ear maybe we'll just see a little bit on the side. So just do like a upside down letter U and then a little curved line right there for the other. All right, the eyeball, nice big eyeball, expressive, maybe a cheek that's pushing up underneath the eye. Happy baby elephant. All right, now the elephant actually has, it's not a, doesn't come off like a water hose, although they do use it like a water hose to you know, cool themselves off, right? They have these kind of finger pieces at the end that they can actually grab things and pick things up. We'll have it kind of spitting some water here, playing around with the water. It's a baby, it's just... 
See that we're going to put some ovals in there to because it's kind of crinkling up as it bends. Okay. Okay, maybe a little hair on the top. Okay, the back of the elephant goes up like this using that oval shape. Now the legs. Okay, we're just going to do this. From here, just come down with some kind of like elbow macaronis, except they're not bent. Just a, almost flare out some straight lines that come down. You could put an oval on the ground like this to give you a start as far as the shape of that padded foot. Same thing here. I'm going to come down like this. So you go back there. Maybe a foot like that. And then curved line. Oval for the bottom. And then... Like that. Now we're getting a lot of pencil lines in here. I want to kind of clean it up for you so we can get a better idea what's going on here. Okay. Is it starting to <laughs> look a little clearer now? <laughs> yeah, let's, <clears throat> let's kind of point, make this more of a point at the bottom. Now, I guess Africa, there's African elephants and Indian elephants. And as I understand, the African elephant is a little bit bigger. can grow up to like 13 feet tall here at the shoulders. And uh, the ears are larger on the African elephant. They're larger and, than the Indian elephant. The Indians are smaller. All right. And I think they use their ears to, almost like remember when we talked about the toucan using its bill to radiate heat off the body? Well, I think that's what the ears do for the elephant. They act as radiators to get rid of excess heat. And if they really get hot, they hop in the, hop in the river and <laughs> take a bath. Okay, a little tail, just a little curved line here, maybe with some fun... I think it's got a little poof of hair maybe, but we'll just make a little like, cartoony tail. All right, okay, so get rid of our ovals. We don't need the top part of the oval. Now, if we wanted to, we could put behind it so we could just see the other foot on the other side. And what we'll do is make some big toenails here. Toenail, toenail, and then the back foot over here. All right, and that one would be a little darker, right? When we go to do our either our coloring or our inking. All right, so there's our elephant, and then what we can do? Let's do this. Let's stand up. Let's put our Lavinia. Let's put her. <laughs> she's standing on her on the elephant here. She's standing like, just put her leg there, a leg out here. I'm just going to draw her very simply. She's just two legs, thin, very thin legs, like she's wearing leggings or something. And then the top, just kind of like a triangle and a head circle or oval shape and she's kind of posing she's all proud of herself she's on top of her elephant friend so just a little tube here for her arm with some fingers sticking out same thing here arm you could put a circle there so it gives you a little more understanding of where you might want to put these fingers Okay, so what she's doing, I guess, let's do this. She's late, she's got her head up in the air and she's got a big smile. And then maybe her hair is down behind her. All right. Ha! Polka dots. 
All right. And then we can put horizon line behind. And what we'll do out on the savanna, they've got these trees, umbrella thorns is what they're called, I think, because they look like an umbrella. I'm just going to do some squiggly, scraggly lines. Okay, some, just some trees back there. All right, maybe our, we'll do a, maybe our cloud in the sky later. All right, so let's start inking our character here. All right. Okay, ear on the other side. All right, down the trunk. Let's start here on the trunk. Big smile. Getting, having fun playing in the water. Pupil, reflection, right? Maybe an eyebrow. Okay, big ear. Smile, lower jaw. Okay, one front foot. with toenails <laughs> on the other side. All right, okay. Back foot. Other foot on the other side. Funny little tail. Maybe they're swatting away the flies. Kind of like horses do, right? All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got some water spouting out. Maybe there's a puddle on the... A puddle of water there. <laughs> All right, the background of the horizon line. What did we call these? Umbrella thorns. Just kind of random wobbly lines, right? You could put them in silhouette if you want to. You could color them completely in. I'm just going to leave it like that. Kind of watch, see the tip of my pen? I'm not really, I'm just kind of wiggling it and giving it a little bit of, a little bit of direction with my hand, but not a lot. Comes up like that. We'll darken in the trunk. All right. Now let's draw love in you. She's very happy. 
on top of the world, on top of her elephant friend. Polka dots. And then, let's see, very simple feet. Legging. <laughs> Maybe some her hair in the back. Motion lines. Well, look at that. And then maybe we'll do some grass around. Our elephant. How about that? Again, we used a oval, an oval, and we put together an elephant playing in the water. How did yours come out? <laughs> a baby elephant on the savanna, having fun playing with some water. Could have put a bucket of water right there, or we could have put a, could have put a, <laughs> we could have put a pond there or a stream, All right? Okay, just erasing. Those pencil lines. This will be fun to color as well. Elephants are grayish in color, but if you wanted to, you could color yours any color you wanted to. All right? Just for the fun of it, doesn't have to be gray. Could be a pale blue, a pale purple would be nice too. All right? Any color you want. Look at that. Well, there's our elephant with Lavinia riding up top. <laughs> All right, that came out. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. All right, so there's our elephant for today. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll be back again tomorrow, or if it's the weekend, we'll be back on Monday. I hope you enjoyed this. All right. Very nice. Until next time, be safe, stay well, and take care of one another. All righty. Bye-bye.